welcome to the topic topical agents in which we are going to discuss about inorganic antimicrobial agents in this video we have a learning outcomes after completion of this video the students will be able to define different terms of antimicrobial agents it will help to reduce the confusion among the different terms of antimicrobial agents the students will be able to discuss the different types of mechanism of action of topical antimicrobial agents here is quiz for you stop the video for a while and think on these questions define topical agents enlist different classes of inorganic topical agents based on their action hope you will get answers of these questions so what is the definition of topical agents the topical agents are substances which are applied on body surface including applications within the body cavities that are open to outside for example vaginal cavity oral cavity and colonic cavity so topical agents applied locally on skin or body surface or mucous membrane classification of inorganic topical agents includes protectives and adsorbents for example talc antimicrobials for example hydrogen peroxide potassium permanganate iodine silver nitrate etc astringents includes alum and last is miscellaneous compounds include precipitate sulfurs so this is the classification of topical agents so let's discuss about inorganic antimicrobial agents the chemical agents which are used to destroy or inhibit the growth of pathogenic microorganism are called antimicrobials remember pathogenic microorganisms are nothing but the microorganisms which are causing a disease anti means oppose against microbial means microorganism so antimicrobials the agents which oppose or kills or inhibit the growth of microorganism generally we are using the two terms antiseptics and disinfectant antiseptics are the agents which prevents the sepsis by destroying or inhibiting the growth of microorganism on the living tissue and disinfectants are the agents which are employed for application to inanimate object and materials to get rid of microorganism so basic difference between antiseptics and disinfectants are antiseptics are applied on non living on living tissues and disinfectants are applied on non living tissues or inanimate objects next is sterilization it is the process in which there is complete destruction of all living microorganism including their bacterial spores it can be achieved by physical methods by using autoclave or hot air oven or by chemical methods means by using a chemical disinfectant the sterile term is used for the product or material which are totally free from any form of living organism so if material or the products undergoes the sterilization process then it is said to be a sterile one that is it is free from microorganism the terms used for antimicrobials generally germicide is used germs means microorganisms and side it means to kill so it is a broad term used to include different agents employed to kill various kinds of microorganisms so side is a suffix useful for the agents which has ability to kill that particular microorganism it includes bactericides which kills the bacteria fungicides which kills the fungi virucides which kills the viruses and amebicides which kills the amoeba sometimes 
stat is suffix used to describe the antimicrobials. The agent which do not kill the microorganisms but function primarily by inhibiting their growth. So which agents who do not kill the, kills the microorganism but inhibit their growth are described by the terms using suffix stat. It is derived from the word Greek word stasis that is standing still. So bacteriostat that is inhibit the growth of bacteria, fungistat inhibit the growth of fungi, viriostat inhibit the growth of viruses and amoebistat inhibit the growth of amoeba. So this stat is used to explain the terms which do not have ability to kill the microorganism but have ability to inhibit the microorganism. Next most important part is mechanism of action of inorganic antimicrobials. Inorganic antimicrobials affect all proteins in similar manner. They act by, by three process. Either they act by oxidation reaction, halogenation reaction or protein precipitation reaction. These agents alter the molecular shape that is conformation of the protein or important enzyme surface which leads to hindrance in regular biochemical mechanisms due to which finally it leads to destruction of that particular protein or enzyme. So by this oxidation, halogenation and protein precipitation finally it leads to the destruction of protein and it will kill the microbes. First is oxidation mechanism. To know the oxidation mechanism, you must know the definition of oxidation reaction. Pause the video for a while and think on these questions. Yes, oxidation reaction is nothing but the chemical reaction in which there is addition of oxygen or loss of electron or removal of hydrogen. So remember, removal of hydrogen is also called as oxidation. So in this reaction, what happens? If normal protein contains the sulfhydryl groups that is SH, by applying the oxidizing agents, the hydrogen get removed that is removal of hydrogen is called as oxidation. So it will form a disulfide bridge as shown in oxidized protein. So shape of protein get changed because of that it will leads to destruction of protein. It will stop the biochemical mechanism within that particular microorganism. So by this oxidation mechanism, by formation of disulfide bridge, the proteins work get stops and microbes are get killed. So compounds acts on protein containing sulfhydryl group that is SH groups. The sulfhydryl group present in microbial protein oxidize to disulfide bridge by removing of hydrogens. Thus, it alters the molecular shape of protein, ultimately leading to the deactivation of protein. Next mechanism is halogenation. The chemical reaction in which there is addition of halogens, for example, chlorine, bromine, iodine and fluorine, is called as halogenation reaction. You know the protein containing amino acids. Amino acids are joined together at peptide linkage. So it will form amide group. So this amide group in a protein at peptide linkage undergoes halogenation reaction or chlorination. It will change the molecular shape and ultimately the destruction of protein. For example, chlorinated lime, iodine or sodium hypochlorites act by this mechanism. See the normal protein with the amide functional groups. If you are adding the halogens, it will change. It will add, halogen will add at the amide functional groups. So shape of protein get change. So because of that, there is destruction of protein take place. So by this mechanism, the chemical agents having ability to kill the microorganism. Very good example is iodine. Third mechanism is protein precipitation. A good number of polar groups as well as groups having lone pair of electron 
always present in protein structure and they act by they act as a ligands it will form a complexes with transition metal cations metal cations having positive charge and the polar groups present in a proteins having the lone pair of electron so it has negative charge so positive charge and negative charge are attract with each others and it will form a protein metal complex and this complex is results into precipitation of protein so that protein is unavailable for the biochemical reactions so here is a diagrammatic representation protein containing polar groups such as amino group or hydroxyl group so it will form a complex with metal cations that is positively charged ions for example boric acid silver nitrate or mild silver protein you know the many soap solutions or hand wash containing silver that silver is useful to inhibit the growth or kills the microorganism by protein precipitation mechanism so we have seen oxidation halogenation and protein precipitation mechanism of antimicrobial agents so dear students to study the inorganic compounds you have to make a table or chart containing serial number name of compounds molecular formula and weight their synonyms properties and uses if you are having this table it will very helpful to study the inorganic compounds in at a glance so far we have discussed the inorganic antimicrobial agents different terms of antimicrobial agents we have explained in details the different mechanism of antimicrobial agents and classification of antimicrobial agents antimicrobial agents are classified on the basis of mechanism first class is antimicrobial agents act by oxidation second is antimicrobial agents act by halogenation and third is antimicrobial act by protein precipitation so this is all about the topical antimicrobial agents thank you